Okay, so Jay Gruden, who was the coach of the Washington Redskins back in 2014 to 2019, coached at a time when the franchise transitioned from Robert Griffin III to Kirk Cousins. This was a period of dysfunction for the organization, and it appears the relationship between quarterback and coach wasn't always the best. Jay Gruden was eventually fired in 2019 after leading the Redskins' own five to start the season, and RG3 was released and bounced around the league with the Browns and Ravens before eventually finding a career on television with ESPN. Anyways, things went into full gear a few days ago when the pair got into a Twitter spat that started with a simple tweet about the Philadelphia Eagles. Gruden started off by offering an apology to any quarterback he's subjected to a night like that of Eagles QB Jalen Hurts who was constantly under pressure in the 32-9 loss to the Buccaneers. So this was Jay Gruden's tweet to which RG3 responded with a caption and photo saying, Say what? And this is how their Twitter feud began. Jay Gruden then asked Griffin if he wasn't properly prepared to which RG3 clapped back by tweeting, You told me you didn't know how to coach a QB who could throw and run like me, so it looks to me like you weren't prepared, Jay. So shots were clearly fired, but then in the next morning, Jay Gruden candidly responded back to his former QB and said, You're right, we didn't have a good enough staff, sorry, hope all is well with you. And I guess that should have been the end of things, but obviously it wasn't as Robert decided to go on his podcast and bring up an old story of how his former coach kind of backstabbed him in front of his teammates and the media. Have a listen. So if Jay Gruden really wants to talk, I'm not going to cuss the man out. I'm not going to call him outside of his name. But what I am going to do is tell you guys the truth. And the truth of the matter is there is a moment in D.C. that is vividly remembered. Jay Gruden went to a press conference and he undressed me at that press conference in a way that a coach should never undress his starting quarterback. And it was after a game and I said in the press conference that the best players in the NFL have the guys around them play at an extremely high level. No one is out there doing it on their own. Now, the, the media pundits and everyone took that and said, RG3 threw his teammates under the bus. And... I had to eat that for a long time because Jay didn't back me in the media the next day. He doubled down on it uh, and, and actually picked me apart in the media. But what people don't know is that the only reason I went to that press conference and said what I said to challenge my teammates through that press conference was because Jay Gruden asked me to do that. What hurt me about that was the fact that after I did that in the press conference, not only did Jay Gruden not have my back, but he actually burned me with it. He came out the next day and burned me in the media. He came out the next day in a meeting in our team meeting room and burned me in front of my own teammates. Took accountability for what I said. He was taken out of, con taken out of context and apologized to my teammates in the front of that team meeting. Now, Jay, knowing that he had asked me to do that and still went to the media and tore me down to the media, even in that room, it's the fact that he has zero self-awareness and zero integrity because even though he asked me to do something, he didn't have the balls to have my back. Okay, so that was RG3 story about how Gruden threw him under the bus by telling him to challenge his teammates publicly and then not having his back. Honestly, I don't even recall this moment. Not even sure why he even made this video after Gruden pretty much conceded to him unless he wanted to bring some attention to his own podcast. That said, I'm sure some of his former teammates will be quick to respond to these claims, but in the meantime, Jay challenges former QB's claims by asking him if he really wanted to play this game. He also then tweeted something that he has since deleted, but here's what he wrote in that tweet. You weren't good enough, Kirk was better, Cleveland didn't want you, Baltimore didn't either, quit blaming me. And I'm gonna have to kinda agree with Jay here, Kirk was the better option and that's a lot more clear now. RG3 struggled to see any action in Cleveland and Baltimore and has pretty much resigned himself to his media role at ESPN. That being said, there is clearly a lot of animosity between these two from their time in Washington and it appears things won't be slowing down anytime soon. Jay Gruden has announced that the podcast he makes regular appearances on that he would be talking about the issue with RG3 later today at around 5pm. Anyways, what are your guys thoughts on this feud between these two?